Assalamu alaikum everyone welcome back to this channel so this is me Ali Waheed and in this video we are going to discuss another drug which is obtained from the animal and this drug is civet okay so let's discuss the biological source of it so its biological source is a cat which is a vibra gibrita so this is a, a scientific or biological name of that cat then let's discuss the family of that cat so the family is vibrividae and the geographical source of this cat is Africa and in Europe this cat is freely available. Then uh, let's discuss something about the civet cat. So this civet cat has a long body and short legs. It has very thick fur on his tail and has small ears. So it usually has cat-like appearance but has some types of difference uh, between the cat and, and between the civet cat. Now let's discuss the source of the civet. So civet is our drug which is obtained from this cat. So actually the civet is actually the secretion of anal glands of male and female civet cat. So male and female civet gland and their anal gland secretion is become the civet. So civet is actually the greasy and musk like secretions of this cat. Let's discuss about their characteristics. So the nature of this drug is the semi-liquid. Color of this drug is pale yellow type. Odor is very pleasant and taste is very bitter. And solubility, it is insoluble in water but soluble in other organic solvents. And next, uh, due to the pleasant odor, it also used in the preparation of perfumes. Let's discuss about their constituents. So they are composed of some constituent like civetone, this is the cyclic ketone, civetone, ethylamine, propylamine and some types of free acids are present in it. What is the uses of this civet secretion? So it effectively is used as a flavoring agent in various cosmetic products as well as in the food products. And it, due to its very pleasant odor, it is used in the perfume industry in order to make very kind of perfume. And there are many perfumes which are marketed in the uh, in the grocery or in the market uh, uh, with the name of civet perfume. Now let's discuss about this storage. So in order to store them, you have to take the closed containers, and you have to store them at the cool place, not at the high uh, high temperature place, and you have to protect it from the light. So this was all about the today's lecture. I hope that you will understand this lecture and if you have some time to comprehend then you have to definitely leave a comment for me. I will give the answer to you. So take care of yourself. Meet you soon in the next lecture. Till up Allah peace.